Good morning world, welcome, welcome to day two, day two of, well I don't know yet, we're just going to call it day two. Someone asked me in the comments, uh, are there any other YouTubers that I watch, cycling related YouTubers, and there's not many, I don't really watch any, but can I just say this, so I'm riding up to the office with the DLSR, is it Francis Cade? Anyway, one of them rides with this thing. Which, riding with it's one thing, how the hell do you talk to it on the bike? My arm's about to fall off. Plus I feel like I'm about to bloody lopside over. So that's a bit better. I can actually hold the camera in front of me. Uh, I won't do this actually. So yesterday I shot everything on the iPhone, including the stuff to camera, had an external mic, but uh, essentially it was all iPhone. Today, Sony RX O Mark II with the external mic. And I might keep changing it up. I've got the DJI as well. Be interested, you guys let me know which one you prefer. I'm full vlog spec today. Got the bar bag back. And uh, we are trooping up north. So the social fabric of society may very well have broken down with this crazy toilet paper activity. But I've never experienced such polite drivers as I did this morning. So clearly, maybe it's because we're all so happy that we have bucket loads of toilet paper at home, I don't know. Anyway, I find it interesting, so the demographics of different suburbs in Sydney, how it sort of affects the drivers that you encounter. So I've turned up here into North Taramara. There's a certain demographic here. They're probably sitting about three inches from the, the steering wheel with rather thick glasses on and they're very nervous drivers. Very nervous, which, you know, they'll all honestly sometimes just linger, like just there, because they're scared to go past. Whereas like, you know, you might hit, now be careful here, Chris. You might hit the Shire, a few more uh, younger, you know where I'm going with this, but it is interesting. And, and you think about it when you're planning your rides, don't you? Like, it's safer coming up here. <laughs> because the drivers are safer. Yeah, okay, so I had the SLR Boost saddle and the Pro Stealth before that. As many of you guys who've been watching this for a while will remember when I did the custom inner sole vlog, Nathan up there pointed out how crooked I was sitting on the saddle. So when I swapped bikes back with Dylan, I actually popped on Jay's normal SLR saddle. Lo and behold, I'm sitting straight on the saddle. No rhyme or reason, but okay. But the interesting thing here, right, is power balance, exactly the same, exactly the same. It's just whatever way my body seems to work. But yeah, like no change to anything else, just the saddle, all of a sudden sitting straight down the line. So what was my motivation today to ride? That descent. Like I did say yesterday, like I'm just taking it easy, chilling out, all that kind of stuff. And that's 100% true. But like I'm not just sort of out here flapping about. Well, Dan may disagree with you, but my time is kind of too precious just to slop completely about. So. What does that mean? It just means constant pressure on the pedals. Uh, that's it, like pretty simple. Call it what you want, zone two, endurance. But at the end of the day, guys, it completely comes down to constant pressure on the pedals. And I've talked about this for years on this channel. It's just do it. 
like it's funny it's it's the reason you will always see me talking to camera in the same bits of road because I can't do it here because I go too fast down the hill so I doubt this will come through but this is kind of what I'm talking about constantly riding constantly pedaling just constantly keeping the keeping the pedals pressure on them not necessarily to a number but you get a feel you get a sense for what suits you and it's just constant classic classic vlog spot this one <laughs> so anyway I got in uh, contact with the lads last night the team and we had a sort of bit of a chat about well I suppose almost the things we were talking about yesterday on the vlog like what kind of things can we do etc etc so get the guys uploading almost like video diary stuff of what they're doing training wise cross training wise how are they staying motivated are they staying motivated you know all that kind of stuff which I think it'd be really interesting from a cross section of 10 continental riders so long story short if you do see some of the guys ask them have they uploaded their content to Chris yet because uh, the audience wants to know. They want to know what you're up to, guys. I'm outing them. Social, this is, this is cyberbullying. <laughs> I'd normally never do this, so I'm just getting water. I don't like getting plastics, but I don't know. Like, I just felt like going to a bubbler or something like that just wasn't the right thing to do today if you don't know what a bubbler is let me know and I'll let you know down below <laughs> um, soy milk and soy chocolate milk really good I'm really enjoying this again I'm not enjoying the whole thing that's going on in society at the moment but I am enjoying sort of getting back to a bit of this sort of daily kind of creative stuff and it's interesting so I was watching this is what we do in our house right we were watching the vlog last night and Liz kind of made a comment at the end of it she said well, why do you keep asking people what you want asking people you know what I'm trying to say you asking them what sort of content you want them to do right because she's like, don't you just sort of do what, whatever you want? And she's kind of right on both accounts. I do just really do whatever I kind of want on the channel because I was always sort of said it, essentially it is a creative outlet for me, which I, I really do enjoy. But I think, well, I know, I know the reason that I do it is certainly based in the kind of insecurity I have about the, the channel. And a lot of that kind of comes down to is it a personal thing is it is it a team thing is it a commercial thing is it am i trying to grow it into this am i trying to get the channel to explode is it just this little like and i still don't have the answer to that and i don't i kind of thinking a bit more about it like i, I actually enjoy not having the answer to it like i know for a fact that i am not very good at triggering the YouTube algorithms, right? So the, the way to grow a channel really is that you have to keep your content really super consistent. So then consistent in terms of subject matter, um, style, all that kind of stuff. So when YouTube suggests the videos to prospective viewers and subscribers, they YouTube know exactly the kind of people to hit because your content is super specific. Now, this channel isn't right you know it's got a smattering of like daily vlogs where chris slops around sydney riding his bike then there's product reviews then there's these sort of team race sun tour ones which are like highly produced and kind of have storylines and like i'm really proud of all the content that sits on the channel but youtube has no idea what to do with it and it's one of the reasons really let's be brutally honest guys the, I absolutely love the community that we have here, but it's it's never going to blow up, keeping up the, the style of stuff that I do, that sort of ad hoc kind of content. So it's, it's why then I, I think I ask you 
what sort of content to put up there because, well, you know, I don't know. Like the, the analytics of it is really, really interesting. This is probably very boring for you, but I, I quite like doing the odd sort of product review. I, I do enjoy doing that. And and if you hit the right market and YouTube sends it to the right stuff, th those, those videos do get big views. And you'll see that with other cycling vlog people that when they talk about equipment or specific like training type stuff, it certainly gets a lot more views, especially when it is consistently done on the channel. A quick look through our channel, it, it is not that. So I think what I'm trying to say is I've learnt that I'm going to embrace that. Uh, I'm going to embrace the fact that there's going to be certain parts of the year where I do this. I just make it up as I go and, and see what happens and, and go with it. And then there'll be other times when I want to really sit down and do highly produced creative stuff because that's kind of some of my background. So that was a long monologue about YouTube. I'm really sorry. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, look, going to keep trying to roll with it when I can. I'm not sure what's coming up the next couple of days, but please do subscribe to the channel because, well, you know, your guess is as good as mine what's coming up. All right. And it does seem that uh, that camera was a bit of a fail today. The focal focus point was all over the shop, wasn't it? So tomorrow I'll try something different or whenever I do the next one, I'll try something different. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'll let you know. Nice one, guys. See ya. Yeah, so what else is going on? So the other news is thankfully not much news. Everyone's well at home. Catherine has headed to school. Elizabeth is working from home. And C the B is with her for the morning. And we'll get a bit of C the B this afternoon. Ah. <sighs>